my perfect cancer. I do have the perfect cancer. Cancer turned up in my life in November 2020 and came along this mysterious, uncertain journey. It wasn't a shock. It felt as if I was expecting it. I embraced it, celebrated it, and excitingly enjoyed every step of the way. It came into my life at the right time. My life was perfect. My two boys are young adults finding their own path in life. I have the perfect husband, the perfect job, the perfect friends, the perfect family. So why not add the perfect cancer? Cancer became less of a food, taboo, rejected word. Especially in our Lebanese culture, people cannot utter the word cancer and instead replace it by the ugly disease. Cancer became more a part of me. I was living it. I am the shark. I'm a fighter with a very big toothy smile. Yes, I let cancer in happily, but I still made the decisions. 16 sessions of chemotherapy couldn't kill the cancer. Armour on, let's fight again. This fight, I lost the first round. A few hiccups along the way, but I am the shark. I will go on with the fight. I wore my smile every day, found positivity everywhere, and enjoyed every part of the journey. Cancer for me was like a pause to think, evaluate and embrace all the beauty that I have in my life. I have so much love and beauty in my life. After scans and biopsies, I got my terminal diagnosis. Cancer has spread to bones, to liver and chest wall. How to remain brave when they crumble under the weight of this prognosis. How to stay strong when they feel lost and weak. How? Love and smile. Show them how much you love life and how much you have been loved. Love. Love through actions, small and big, is the way. Terminal? So what? Life has its own agenda. We came along the journey with an open heart and an open home. I celebrated my favourite colour by having so many blue parties. Royal blue means trust and loyalty. I gave my friends a constant reminder of my presence. I am the blue and I am everywhere. Making this association gave my loved people something to hold on to when I'm gone. I was terminal. My time was limited. But that did not change my view. Cancer? My cancer was perfect. I faced the end life in peace. Living with dying is what it's called. I'm doing it my way, the perfect way, with a big smile and a big fight. Death I embrace and I feel liberated, happy and triumphant. I have a choice 
and how to play my own. So many never get this opportunity. I am lucky. Feel cold. Mm. A bit cold. Now a bit low on energy. That's why I'm eating a banana. I'm gonna eat nuts. I need some carbohydrates, sugary, but good quality because I don't want my body to to feel tired digesting. I want my body just to deliver something easy to fuel in to continue with one hour and a half. We still have. They are triple the size now because it's swollen. The body can take near down anything. It is the mind I need training, baby. Woo! My nervous system will release all the pain, so I have like 25 minutes where my feet will get swollen more than this. And then I can stand up again, okay? So you know. Okay, let's do it, ready? Thank you guys, thank you for everyone, okay?
how would you define love? And your answer is action. Action. Do you have any regrets? No. Mm-hmm. Are you afraid of anything? No. Yeah. Life is your mental. What advice would you give to people living with cancer right now? Embrace serenity to accept the things I can't change, the courage to accept the things I can, and wisdom to know the other difference. Yeah. You don't feel human to me, Shahla. <laughs> like, you don't. Like, I, I, I know you are human, but I know, but I mean, all your life, like. Because I loved people. You loved I loved people. people truly. Truly. If I loved someone, I loved them. And I was happy to hear them all my time, um, all my life. Are you not convinced, Nikoli, that I have the perfect cancer? You are convinced? I'm convinced. I'm totally You're convinced. very convincing. You're so beautiful, thank you. It's so nice that I have that now.